hello good morning how's everybody doing today welcome to luxember i'm cleaning up here a little bit the kitchen and i wanted to share with you i got my wine subscription box a quarterly subscription box i want to open that with you guys and i wanted to um add the pods that i got from my air garden and um maybe i'll do another declutter yesterday you guys saw the drawer of my foundation um my foundation drawer and my concealer drawer i have the boxes here to throw away and other trash that i cleaned up a little bit and i want to open the subscription box so then i could get rid of the box because the trash passes by tomorrow and i just want to get rid of it get out of the house and i also will share the air garden so let me see how can i prop this up so we could we could see everything i think the I think maybe the best way to do this is just like this. I usually use a box cutter, but I have it in the bedroom and I have scissors here. So this is a subscription box. You could get it every month, every three months whatever way you want it. I have it every three months. And you get to pick how many whites, how many reds, how many pinks, how many rose wines you want. So I usually pick um, three and three. Three reds and three whites. So let's see what they bring this quarter. I always come with some cards, information about each wine and the region where it comes from which i think is really cool because i'm not an expert so it talks about the wines and what fruit they use how they cultivate it all that and like a little like um a check like a newsletter which is really cool with different information and wine pairings and sometimes they come with recipes and then it comes with this protection on the top Okay, so here I'm seeing I got a Acadine, Acadine Pinot Noir 2020 from California. And then it tells you the non-member price and the member price, the QR code, also the notes, the pairings, nutrition, alcohol, volume. And I think it's really cool because it gives you a lot of information that I would another way know. So this is one of them. <clears throat> This is another red uh, quebrado red blend where is this one from i'm not a big red wine drinker i like sweet drinks so the red wine is mostly for my husband this one's from chile castillo quebrado red blend Merlot cabernet sauvignon here is the information all the information you need to know and then this is a prosecco i like prosecco Impress extra dry Prosecco non vintage from Italy. So that's nice. I'll have to take these out so we can look at the second floor. So the first one here is a Shimmer Grenache Rose 2021 California. Here's the information. Okay, next we have a 2020 Composure from Western Cape, South Africa. Here's the card. Oh, and I forgot, like, in the back, it shows you um, the area of of the, the region where it's from. I forgot to show you guys that. Hold on. Maybe you find that interesting, like, the area from California. This is probably, like, LA or something. This one is from Balboa Park, California. This is in Chile. It's beautiful. And Italy. And the last one is Emilio Chardonnay from 2019 Sonoma County, California. This is what the bottle looks like. I like it. I'm gonna 
save a few of the bottles for my upcoming trip to Tennessee. I'm going to take it up there to, you know, have a drink in the hotel room or something. Or with my brother in my brother's house. So I think it's it's a pretty good subscription. I really like it. I'm not a big wine drinker. Like I said, I like, my favorite is Moscato. But my husband likes red wine. So the rest, like the rose, the prosecco, all that, either I'll keep it for myself or I give it to my eldest, which she likes white wine. And I'll take some to my trip to my younger brother's house. So the next thing I want to show you, I want to finish up with Air Garden so I could throw away all those boxes. And I'm going to put the camera back where it was and I'm going to point it to the Air Garden and we could work together. Okay, so I changed my mind. I put it right next to it so we could have a really close look. So this is basil, mint, and thyme. I had um, another basil and I had something else that they they uh, didn't make it. I was a little bit neglect. I neglected them for a little bit. So I ordered a box of salad greens and a box of mighty mini like mini cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna put maybe one lettuce, one salad green, and then I'll put one um one salad green and two tomatoes. And I had bought extra food and I didn't realize that every little box the set had its own set of food, which I guess it's all right. So this is a salad green, and this is what they look like, the little pods. They're supposed to fill in, the, fill in up with water, and I just filled it up this morning. So I'm going to pop it right in. This is salad greens. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then I'm supposed to fit right in. And then I'm going to get two of the tomatoes. to put like a little lid and then when it start popping out then you then you take off the lid I already added water this morning and I'm gonna add some food one um, one is two to three pod model mine is six six to seven eight milliliters two capsules I start up and every two weeks so I'm gonna put two capsules right here through this little hole That's it, cover it up. So then, this machine is set up so it's timed. So you could, um, it'll turn off the light when it's timed. Like at nighttime, it'll turn off by itself. And this light here will tell you if it's green, it's good to go. If it's red, it's because it needs water. And then you look in here and you're supposed to fill it up all the way to this part here. So we're good. For now, I'm gonna be checking in and I'll be showing you the progress with you guys when it starts coming out. Hopefully, they're not effective because sometimes it happens. And, and yeah, so I'm gonna have basil, mint, tomato, lettuce, tomato, and um, thyme. And then I bought these strings, so if when it gets like really big, I'll just tie them a little bit here, not too rough, just a little bit, so they don't go like all over the place. And I had to clean up some of the dead leaves. They fall on its own, but sometimes I just do it manually. And I have to be cleaning this once in a while, but it's okay, I like it, because I have my own little garden. Whenever I want to cook pasta, I just take some basil from here. And if I want to do a tea, I have some mint, and I want to have lettuce and tomato, which is great. All right, I'm gonna put these boxes away, and I don't know what I'm gonna do next, because um, it is Sunday for me, and I don't think we have any plans. I'm doing laundry, not fun. I did laundry yesterday, one load, and I'm gonna do. I'm doing another load now, and I think my husband's gonna be cutting the yard, doing some outdoor work. I don't know what he's gonna do outside, and I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. So I probably won't dress up. If I do, we do go somewhere, then I'll put on some makeup and get ready and show you guys, of course, and take you with me. But I think we're just gonna stay home and rest, most likely, because we are tired. We had a rough. A rough week um and you saw yesterday the um 
the uncluttering the declutter i did of the foundation and and concealer um drawer and after a while my arms my right arm started hurting and i was like why why is it hurting i haven't done anything and when i was thinking i was like wait it must be because of the drawer i'm not supposed to carry weight and that drawer was heavy so today i don't think i'll be able to do another drawer because my arm and then my left arm hurts as well um, i'm holding the camera here and it's a little bit painful um i don't think i'll do another declutter if anything i'll do like maybe on the top of the vanity i have a thing with the mascaras i have all my mascaras there maybe i'll do a declutter of the mascaras and that way i'll do it little by little no it won't be so overwhelming for me so yeah for now that's what i wanted to share with you guys that's all was interesting today for now the arrow garden and the wine subscription um i have I th i'm not sure if i have an affiliate link for either way it doesn't matter i share with you things that i like not necessarily because i have an affiliate link sometimes i share things that i don't have affiliation with or get any commissions or nothing i just share whatever i love and i think it's great so i'll leave everything in the description box like i always do and i did wash my hair today as you could tell and i left my towel on i like to air dry it i don't like to blow dry my hair unless i really have to or if when i go do my hair my um my roots then the hairdresser she blow dries my hair but usually i don't blow dry my hair i let it air dry so i am um you know i love my gizu my jizu that's what i use today that's what i use all the time and i'll let it dry with a towel get let the towel soak up most of the moisture and then i'll just let it go let it dry and maybe later you'll see me with my hair loose <laughs> so um that's all i have for now when i decide to do the either the mascara declutter or whatever it is that we decide to do then i'll check back in so i'll see you guys in a little bit so i, I didn't get to declutter the my mascaras we didn't go anywhere either my husband wanted um, to stay in so we ordered it in so i'm gonna finish up today i wanted to show you my hair routine since i already showed you my nighttime and all that i'm gonna show something different today so i'm gonna uh, show you what I do with my hair the day that I wash it, which was today. I like to, well, I haven't brushed it. It's already dry. I air dry it. Like I said, I don't like to blow dry. So what I'm going to do is brush it. And then I'm going to use some of the honey infused scalp treatment. You're supposed to use it when your hair is dry. And then the leave-in conditioner when your hair is it could be dry, but um, not the same day that you wash it. When you need some a little bit more conditioning, so I'm just gonna go here. I have to do my roots. Um, just apply here, and then like rub it in like that. I'm gonna go do that all over the hair. And with this help, this helps with conditioning the scalp and also so you won't have itchiness. I mean, I don't have itchiness since I use Gizu, Gizu, but this does help. So just rub it in and I'm going to do this like all over the hair. I only do it here on the top. So after that, I'm going to get some of the oil, the honey infused hair oil. The, their product smells so, so good. I'm going to get just like the whole squirt because I do have long hair. And I'm going to rub it in my hands like this. And then I'm just going to concentrate on like the tips halfway a half of my hair all the way down to the tips it smells so delicious mm. they came out with a body oil and it's supposed to smell the same i'm gonna order it soon because i just love that fragrance so i could wear it after i apply it when i'm on a shower and then i do that after i apply that oil i just brush my hair Sometimes I do it into a braid, but not today because I do have a slight headache. Maybe I should leave it as a braid, 
But regardless, whatever way that I want to do it, look how shiny and like it makes my hair look. Look at that. So, so pretty. And then I don't need it because I washed my hair today, but I'm still going to use it. The hair infused hair perfume. The honey infused hair perfume. It smells so good. I don't wear perfume to bed, but perfume my hair, yes. Mm, it smells so good. So yeah, that's all I do. So I do this on the day that I wash my hair, which is usually either Saturday or Sunday. It could be any day of the week, but usually it's Saturday or Sunday. And then on like Wednesday in the middle of the week, then I'll apply a little bit more. I'll apply the leave-in conditioner and then some more perfume. I think I applied a little bit more here than inside, but that's okay. See how, how shiny and I dye my hair and all that and I have no breakage. I do cut my hair every once in a while, but still I don't have split ends. I haven't had split ends in the longest time. I used to have a lot of split ends. I used to wash my hair a lot, like almost every day. And I would go to bed with my hair wet. And I mean, it wasn't it wasn't good. Like I'll have a lot of split ends, a lot of headaches. Since I stopped doing that, I haven't been seen a split end in a very long time. This is my video for today. This is my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna finish up here and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.